everybody! What's going on? Welcome to another episode of RuneScape! Uh, I did a Slayer Bat Challenge where I killed a bunch of bats and used ranged because it's easier to kill them. Oh, I got this random event called The Maze! Um, <laughs> you can see that there is a 95% of the reward left, so you want to get through it as fast as you can. It's pretty simple. So this episode, you'll see my live stream clips in a second here, uh, actually around the minute and 10 second-ish area. You, I mean, I'll be able to tell. Um, so, before I did the stream, um, I did a bunch of slider mostly, and then I also started training some sk other skills, I think? I'm trying to remember. Uh, no, it doesn't look like I did a whole lot of that. Okay, cool. So my goals right now... <laughs> I'll get to talk about... Well, actually, I guess we're at the end here. Here's some coal. Good. Um, I also got the test kill 50 shades. Good lord, it sucked to fuck get over here. It took like... It seriously took like 30 minute walk. It sucked. And also these things attack me and they hit me really hard and I almost have to like come back multiple times. It sucked, man. You can see all my like melee gear in there as well, but they're hitting so much. They're hitting so much that I ended up having to safe spy them with magic, which is very hard because they were all over the place, so they kept reaching me. Um, here we go, I got level 4 Herblur. Uh, what I just did there, well, I got a, a lamp from a genie event. He literally just a genie spawn. He's like, hey, take this. And I took it, it was a magical lamp, so that's what that was. Here's my stream clips. Uh, I just got a uh, achievement a diary thing for teleporting to Lumbridge, so that's what that is. I also completed the Restless Ghost quest, which I should have done earlier, to be honest, because it gives you 1,125 prayer, which would have gotten me up a lot of prayer levels instead of just burying bones at the beginning of the game. Bones? I was going to have to kill anything, so I really should have just done that. And, um... Here, I, I jump up, I think, like, two prayer levels, so I went 18 to 20 or something like that. Uh, so that was real nice. Um, we need proselyte armor and vestment robe top and legs. Cool. Proselyte armor is pretty okay. Um, the vestment stuff, I don't know anything about that. I also got a magic level, it's kind of unexpectedly. That was kind of pretty neat. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think I can, I think, yeah, crumble and dead. That's a ability that, it's useful in some spots in the game, but I don't know. I also got 475 total levels, so that's pretty neat. Uh, I'm about to get another achievement diary here from teleporting to the rune essence mine. There we go. Uh, from the Ardon, Ardog, or Ardoggy. Um, I also got 14 runecraft here from completing the Enter the Abyss uh, mini quest. Um, I once again probably should have just done that earlier because I would have bumped up my uh, runecrafting stuff. Uh, but the thing is, I'm only doing quests on screen, or on stream, I should say. Uh, here's another quest, a waterfall quest, which is another been another good one to do um, yeah, earlier. 13,750 strength, an attack, two diamonds, two gold, and 40 mithril seeds. Um, so the mithril seeds are literally just flowers, are useless. But the, but the, honestly, I did it mostly for experience. Like, look at that jump. I went from like 30 attack and strength to 41 and 39. So, yeah, yeah it's a pretty big jump uh it's pretty great feels good man feels good um i try i mostly did the stream just doing some quests that boost my combat levels a lot uh next stream i plan on doing um something else to the grand tree quest here uh which gave me 18,000 attack experience again which boosted my attack again by a few levels which is awesome 2150 magic experience 7900 agility which definitely boosted my agility which was nice it was 35 and now i'm at 38 so that was pretty great mate it was pretty great indeed and i'm talking here i guess but i don't know okay here we go there you go, 38 agility, and uh, this is actually it for the stream, so once this clip's over, we'll be um, done with that. The Alcrit Mining Pits, scramble. <laughs> Good. Very proud, very proud indeed. And 40 magic, do I not get anything? Yeah, you can now teleport to house and use Mystic, Enchanted Elder Chaos Druid Robes, and Skeletal Armor. The teleport to house is amazing, and once we start working on construction, I would love to start working on construction, because construction is an extremely helpful skill. The only issue is it's extremely um, expensive. Uh, I got a clue scroll from these parfiends. Also did some achievement diaries there by teleporting with the uh, the spear tree. I think I got two. I think one was from using uh, using the t the tree in um, the granite stage, and I think the other one was um, uh, teleporting to the gnome struggle. So it was weird. I got like two achieve two achievement diaries in one. Super heat item is super useful for smithing. Uh, I might do that eventually. Ogres, and eh, those are okay. Um, I got a total level 500, which is very cool. And I saw Ice Warriors, those are kind of strong and hard to find. Oh, right here, this is my run for um, runecrafting, uh, which I started doing because I really want to get 40, 44, I believe, which uh, unlocks nature runes, which is a fantastic way to make money early game. That's what I was trying to do here. So there we go, I'll teleport to the, I have a dueling ring right there where I'll teleport to Castle Wars, uh, which gives me, puts me right next to a chest, which I'll go and uh, stock up on rude essence, then I'll teleport back to the duel arena with the same ring. Uh, which puts me back, uh, I unlocked the Canada's kind of course, course here, which is awesome. That's it for Jilly for now, though. Um, oh, why is this here? This should have been earlier. 
These clips should have been before. What the hell? Huh. All right. Well, there's 15 room crafting. I think some of these clips might be a bit mixed up. Smoke runes. It's fine. Um. Yeah. So I'm essentially going for 44. This is actually some of the fastest experience in the game because it's a very quick run. It only takes like a, like a minute or two. Um. And the levels go up really quick. But room crafting is actually one of the slowest skills in the game, and it gets extremely tedious later on. Um. Sure, we're about to get 19 here. Uh. I've run into an issue. Steam runes. A lot of these, like, runes don't really do a whole lot, to be honest. I mean, they have their uses. I never use them, though. There's 20 rune crafting. Bam, 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 bam. Body runes! Those are a more, uh, traditional rune, I guess. I'm about to get 25 here. And the thing is, you'll see this rune pouch I got, right? I got that from, um, doing the Enter the Abyss mini quest. And at 25, you unlock another one. Well, you'll see in a minute here that uh, I got three rune... I craft three rune... Air runes from one essence now. Um, you'll see in a second though, I try to go get an, a second bag. Uh, because you unlock a larger bag at 25. There we go, I missed the level up apparently. So here's me doing that. This is also an achievement diary. Oh, also now we have 40 attack. We unlock the abilities and look at me get destroyed here. So if you kill these things, they drop these bags that like allow you, that allow you to hold more rune essence. Look at that. So I gave up on that pretty quickly. I really wanted to um, get the bag, but I'm like, I need to unlock something or get stronger. I got an elite cruise clue scroll from my very first bird nest. Which is insane! An elite clue scroll gives you some really good stuff. Unfortunately, normally you need some high high level stuff to be able to do it. So will I be able to do it? Probably not. It'd be nice. We'll try it eventually. I haven't done a clue scroll yet on stream. I'm waiting to uh, get as many quests done as possible. So my goal right here is actually to get 36 uh, wood uh, wood cutting because I need that for a quest in order to access um, one of the best transportation methods in the game, which is fairy rings. But whenever I lock, like, you know, me throw axe, I just locked it. I immediately go and use it because there's really no, like, it's kind of, it doesn't get super expensive. Also, 525 total level. <laughs> oh, also, at some point here, I believe, uh, can I use oil lanterns? Good. At some point here, I believe the screen's actually going to kind of, not glitch out, but you'll see a black line on the left side of the screen. Hey, ignore it. I'll have a fix for next time. I'm sorry. Somehow I dragged it over and it made me very sad. Um... Good, 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 good. Dog oh, canoes, perfect. The canoes are kind of helpful. They they're useful for getting around in the wilderness, which we'll tackle one day. One day. So this is me, pretty much. I'll cut down wood, and I'll just pretty much uh, flame it. Um, <laughs> there's some Tudor stuff. Uh, Harpy bug lanterns. That's actually useful for Slayer eventually one day. Willow trees. These are some of the. F that's some of the fast experience in the game, actually. So there you go. Oh, I got a achievement diary for chopping down a willow tree, which is great. I an axe, very useful. Very useful indeed. Hey, let me out! Uh, 35, I stopped using fire making and I stayed. Well, actually, I just started baking the willow logs, so I'll probably use that eventually um, for fire making or fletching, because you'll see in a minute here, I'm going to start doing fletching. Um, for no real reason. Uh, I believe the next. No, no, I go to 40 wood cutting. I, uh, I, there's no real reason. I mean, I'm sure there's quests I'm gonna need to do down the line where I need to do fletching. So I decided I may as well start to do it. Um, 40. There we go. I started doing fletching after level 40. There. Uh, I believe I get to level 10 when I just give up because it's actually kind of a slower skill rate to me. Unless you buy the logs, I was actually manually chopping all these logs. I'm pretty sure most people. There, there's the screen kind of glitching on the left a little bit there. I just I accidentally moved the screen over a little bit, which messed it up, but it's not bad. I mean, now that I pointed it out. I also got a wood cutting level just by chopping down these normal trees for fletching. But yeah, since I'm just chopping down these trees normally, it's kind of, um, it, it's it's slowing down. It's really slowing down, so I've just bought the lot. I probably should just bought them. I'm sure they're be nice and cheap. But I'm actually really struggling on money. Oh, I got 11 fletching. Yeah. Get the G. And, um, Oof. so, <laughs> I actually <laughs> recorded this by mistake. <laughs> I found some loot here. And I was like, well, let's grab it. And then this guy started attacking me. Oh my god, I started freaking out because the weapon he has is actually pretty strong. He probably killed me like a couple kids. Thankfully, he ran out of energy, though. I'm in the wilderness, by the way. I'm trying a money making method, which is Lava Dragons. Level 252. Easy. So I could actually hit them from the safe spot here. And, um, thankfully, Fire Strike, which is a very low seal. You see my inventory, they're very cheap. That's probably like a couple thousand, um, gold coins. Uh, and I finally killed it. There we go. And it drops Black Dragon Hide. Uh, this is all the guaranteed drops, by the way. Uh, Lava Scale and Dragon Bones, which comes out to around 10,000 coins, you'll see. So you also drop Chocolate Cakes, which is a stupid troll drop, which is worth nothing. <laughs> These drop some pretty nice stuff though, which I'll show in a second here, because the next kill, surprise, surprise, I get... Oh wait, no, I'm gonna show myself selling it first, aren't I? 
I also got attacked when doing this. This is a very dangerous thing to do because this is very popular for low levels. So people come and kill the low levels. So look at this out. Onyx Bolt Tips. That is pretty much why people come here. It's a very common drop and it's worth just under 100,000 gold. So it's very good and that's why a lot of people kill it. Look at that. 102,000 coins just from that. And a little 44 magic. And that's going to be pretty much the end of this uh, episode. Thanks. So thank you very much for watching. Next up, um, before I stream, I do plan on doing some crafting since I want to, uh, I need a certain crafting level to um, start the, one of the quests I need to do to access the fairy rings with those again are one of the best transportation methods in the game. I also needed to actually access a different spot where I could um, kill abyssal creatures and uh, not get swarmed and die immediately and instead um, uh, kill them easily and not die. So that's what I, that's, I'm going to do some crafting. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't liked the stream or the video, please do. I will talk to you guys.